Uh, well, I think there will be uh, winners and losers in the uh, midst of uh, elevated uh, oil or commodity prices. Uh, clearly, I think some of uh, ASEAN countries are net exporters. So the likes of Indonesia, Malaysia, they can actually benefit uh, from higher uh, energy prices. But of course, there will be uh, the, the importers uh, of, of uh, uh, energy, uh, of course, uh, Singapore uh, would be affected if energy prices uh, stay much higher or even have a spike or even some of the cons uh, uh, countries such as Philippines, etc. might get affected if commodity price continue to stay high and that could feed into uh, inflation. But I, I think at this stage, it's still um, too early to tell. Yes, it will stay elevated, but I think uh, generally, if we do see a slowdown in global growth, I think those uh, energy and commodity prices should start to slowly stabilize uh, towards uh, the second half of the year. Mm -hmm. Of course, what happens with commodity prices also partly depends on what happens with the US dollar. What do you see as the forex trends this year for ASEAN region? Uh, well, I think generally the dollar uh, would likely, I think in the short term, because of the headwinds associated with the repricing of the interest rates, you might get some support for the US dollar, at least in the near term. But if you look through towards the, the rest of this year, we should see a, a weakening of the US dollar because I think we are very near the peak uh, of interest rates. And clearly, I think that would mean that the dollar strength would lose very much of its steam. And I think we should see a depreciation uh, of the US dollar. And from that perspective, most of the ASEAN central banks also should be at the end of its tightening cycle as well. And we should see some stabilization uh, or even a little bit of strength uh, for Southeast Asian currencies.